started off the game a little slow again and, and on offense anyway, getting getting things going. And then in the second quarter, you guys just kind of started getting more comfortable in the offense and seeing what you were seeing in the Clippers' defense. Was that more about just getting used to their defense or figuring yourselves out? I mean, yeah, it was obviously a point of emphasis for us to have a better start, but you know, you, you're still not promised that you're going to make all your shots. So, um, and just felt the game out, um, settled into it, seen what they were doing, and just went from there. Chris, you started out the game tonight, one for five, and then uh, finished out going seven for nine. Kind of, what was your motivation to keep shooting tonight? And, and uh, just keep going for shots. Got to. Got to. Um, I mean, with the way we was playing, the pace, whatnot, them doubling on KD, and just, you know I mean? We've been doing this for a while. A lot of times, uh, me and DA, when we get to our pick and roll with the shooters that we got, that leaves the, uh, the middies wide open. Chris, coming in. Uh, hey, go ahead. Okay. Chris, coming into the game, uh, you lost a few games in a row with Scott Foster as the referee. And I know a couple of years ago, you said 11 in a row coming into the locker room after a loss uh, against the Clippers. And tonight, getting a win, uh, are you still are you still thinking about that? Uh, finally being able to win a game that Scott Foster's referee? I didn't notice. <laughs> Now, I think, I think we, we all about in this run, you know what I mean, minimizing distractions, you know what I mean? So <clears throat> that is what it is. I'm sure it's still going to be a thing. League know what it is, so can't control it. You ain't been able to control all the other ones, so it ain't going to change now, you know what I mean? So the, the game is the game. Devin, I'm coming in late with just that, that shot at the end of the first half. And then keep that going. How much did that lead to what you doing in the second half, hitting that huge three? And I think how we finished out the second quarter overall, you know, outside of that shot, you know, it was good momentum going into the third. And, you know, how we started the third quarter was big for us, too. Um, yeah, they, they asked about the start before you got in here. And, you know, we we obviously wanted to get her off to a better start again and, and didn't, but we just let the game settle and went from there. Chris did. Comfortable. <laughs> Can you expand a bit just on how the zone you were in and how you were feeling about that process? Um, yeah, I mean, it's that time of year. Um, you know, everything counts. Um, I think with the talent that we have on this team, you know, spacing is a, is a big thing. So, you know, just, you know, trying to give Kev space, trying to give CP space, um, you know, just putting everybody in the best position to succeed. I know with the, the four stars on the floor now that Kevin's here, you talk about spacing and everything. Was it important to just get a win with him just to prove that you could do it in the postseason? I know that kind of sounds dumb a little bit, but just, just to prove and, and for yourself. <laughs> That's a two-time champ, two-time Finals MVP. Um, you know, he he's proven enough. Um, I mean, we didn't lose any games with each other during the regular season, and you know, we just dropped Game One. So, you know, just want to come out and respond. And um, like you said, you know, spacing is a big part of that. You know, just you know, he's so talented. You just have to let him work. Earl That's an emphasis going on the whole playoffs. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> minimize distractions. You know, we know what it looked like sometimes during the regular season with techs and this, that, and the, the third. Um, we're trying to control what we can control. You know what I mean? And just trying to, you know, stay present and focus. It's mostly us two. So we got to hold each other accountable with it. Straight up. What do you guys make of Tory's contribution so far in this series, whether it's the spacing, the shooting, the screening, or just the rebounding? Craig made just about every big shot for us tonight. You know, if you watch games, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's, 
it's the timing of the shots. You know, sometimes when the team got a chance to cut it from six to four, three, and then Craig would hit a three to put us up nine. It was the timing of the shots that he made, and uh, that's that's big in the series. Chris, sorry, this is already asked, but you only took one three tonight, and there's so much questions uh, through the late in the season about you being more of a spot up three point shooter. So, with Book and Katori hitting so many threes, did that enable you to get more to your midi uh, without uh, having to rely on shooting more? Yeah, it's funny. Uh, I've been practicing threes like crazy, thinking that they was going like, to leave me open like them last few games. And then I spent the whole day watching all my shots against the Clippers throughout the season, and they was really giving me middies. And so just refocusing, you know what I mean? They're not really leaving me for the, for the three, but we didn't play against them a lot. So <laughs> just, just get to your spots. They're, they're, they're really changing their defense a lot. Um, I don't know if you've seen this high volume of changing before. How are you managing that? He's obviously, he's obviously trying to confuse you guys. T, that's T. Lou. Yeah. I think when they do that, we just have to simplify it. Um, you know, a lot of things that we haven't seen before. Um, but they have a veteran team that, you know, can do it on the fly. I don't think a lot of teams can do that. And I remember their, our last series with them, they had a lot of stuff with them too. So, you know, when they're doing that, just simplify it for us. Last two. Devin, following uh, the game one loss, what, what was Sunday night and, and Monday like for you just kind of sitting on that, that, that first game setback? <laughs> it's never a good feeling. Um, but, yeah, I, I just got on Call of Duty and blew some steam off. That's all he do. Well, yeah. That's all he do is play Call of Duty. <laughs> Forget what Mike Conley said, man. We, we got to play. <laughs> we got to play. <laughs> It was funny, Mike was talking. He was like, yeah, we're, we can't be playing Call of Duty. Carl walked in the back. He was like, hey, Mike, you getting on? We get home? Yeah. That's, that's our generation, man. Uh, that's one. <laughs> Does this kind of feel like a, because you guys are so good in the mid-range, kind of feel like a, a battle of threes versus twos because you guys are so efficient there and they like to get a lot of threes up? Uh, I don't know. I think we just be playing basketball. <laughs> you know, we... We, um, I mean, you think about KD, you know, everybody always call him a basketball purist. We got a lot of us like that. If a two is open, we're going to take it. <laughs> if the three open, we're going to take that too. And so uh, we just we just hoop and try to make sure we got the most points at the end of the game. Chris, I, I saw you nodding the word. Please, the prayer emoji, what was that about? I don't know. I got to watch the game over. <laughs> I gotta watch the game over. <laughs> <laughs>